Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yep, we're going back to the Forest Naval. <laughs> Who would have guessed, you know, with that one part just sitting in the middle of nowhere and there remaining, remaining three parts there. My plan with this walkthrough was to get all three Pikmin colors while getting as many ship parts along the way as I could, and then going back through the earlier levels to finish them off. And what I'm going to do here is get... 30 reds, I suppose. We're gonna need a lot of yellows this part. If I'm able to get as many ship parts as I think I'll be able to get, maybe I'll go like that and then like that. So 35 blues, 35 yellows, 30 reds. Everyone together? Good! And you know what? Go for this grass. Come on, go for the grass. There's some leaves in my team, and I can't have that when I'm going for speed. Pluck that grass like you've never plucked grass before, and some of you probably haven't plucked grass before, because I most likely just birthed you within the last couple of days, and I'm already putting you to ma hard manual labor. <laughs> and wait, 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 uh, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do first is go over here. Uh, my sense of direction is crap. Uh, there's the ship part that I need to get back to the base. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to take... Because I don't need the blues right now. I'm going to have the blues take that back to base. There's 30... Yeah, there's plenty of them. And I'm going to just take a smaller team this way. And I want to go over to those bomb rocks, which are over here. With my yellows. Come up here. One tripped, but I don't really care. <laughs> Here they are. There are quite a few bomb rocks in this pipe here. No, no, don't go in the water. Don't go in. That was the one that tripped before. Uh, everyone together. Don't drop any rocks. Okay, good. Now we go back. Because there's a wall we gotta take down with these bomb rocks. The rest of the walls are pretty much just um, speed bumps, so to speak, in that um, they really don't have any other purpose than that. Um, I why don't you guys pluck that for the heck of it? I want to kill off some... Wait, wait, I'm, I'm taking the wrong path. Dang it! My sense of direction! It's awful! Terrible! The reason why I want to get my reds is because there is a couple of shearwigs left over, if you recall, at this area. Here they are! Kill them! Kill! Oh, they're already back to base. Very nice. Yay! Needless to say, that's one of the the wings, I mean, yeah, wings. This is the dolphin's fin, well, fin, you know, whatever. Fin wing, whatever. It is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I should, should be able to fly again, even if it, I don't recover all 30 parts. When I read that, I was like, I should be able to fly again? He, he was flying. He flies off the planet at the end of each day. Eh. <laughs> Kill, 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 kill! Ah, uh, it got one, didn't it? Yep. You want to throw Pikmin out of, and at them out of the air, if at all possible, too, because that'll one-hit kill them. Very handy. Mm, don't take that back, please. I don't want. I don't want you to take stuff back at the moment. Just carefully go through these so they don't pick it up. There we go. Now separate the colors once you get to this large area. Take the yellows with the bomb rocks. Good. And let's start bombing. Oh. Uh, they only gonna to drop one at a time. I really wish they drop more than just one at a time. For obvious reasons. No! Don't! Well... How did they not die? Well, some of them die, but I mean... From the fire, but not from the bomb. That was weird. Don't attack the wall. You're not going to make any progress. This is going to only be broke by bomb rocks. Have you not been watching this walkthrough? <laughs> One more. And good. Separate the colors again. Uh, 22 may be too much here. Okay, I'm going to plop them here at the entrance. Go in here. There's the boss! Beady long legs! It's a boss that pretty much only attacks by stomping, and its weakness is that 
head at the middle. Just go right in the center like this and start chucking Pikmin at the center while watching the feet. And also remember to switch the camera angle like this so that you do not m um, lose track of where the legs are. This, this camera angle makes it really, really easy to tell where the Pikmin and where the legs are. And you shouldn't have any trouble with this boss whatsoever if you do this. Just watch how quickly this guy goes down. And this is a pretty major boss in the game too. Oh, one just got squished, but whatever. Just keep attacking. Don't let, don't let him attack the legs though. That's kind of an issue that they have there. Is they like to attack the legs, and that's it's not going to get you anywhere. The weakness is the center. Right, everyone off the legs. You're getting you're getting a little annoying here. <laughs> oh, one got squished there because I threw it a little too far. Threw it past the head, and it's done. And party ball! Woo! <laughs> I love that. The guard satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. Okay, so I lost a few Pikmin in that. No big deal. I've done it without losing any Pikmin before, actually. It's kind of it's kind of tricky to do, but you need a smaller team to do it, and I was aiming for speed more than anything. No no Pikmin with bomb rocks, please. I just need the reds to take that back because they have to go through a uh, flame jet. And I hope those yellows at the start there are going to cause... Oh, that yellow just got in the team, dang it. <laughs> now, as long as the reds only go on this, that should be fine. And there we go, it should be 20. Yep. I am a good counter. And I'm going to let them take that back to base. Let's see here. Um, while they're working on that, there's a wall that I probably should take care of over way on the other side here, towards the path. See that, that little thin stretch of land right near the edge of the world? That leads to that ship part and that ship part. And there's a wall in the way of that. And I need, well, if I want to do this quickly, I need a bunch of Pikmin with uh, bomb rocks to knock down this wall fast because it's a really resilient wall. Oh, I just seen it. That's that's not good. I forgot to kill you off. Turn this way, please. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You guys attack this. And while they work on that, I think I'm actually going to go back to base and go and get the uh, blues. Let's see if I can go up here, right? Yeah, I can go up here. The blues that made it back to the base with that ship part. Just do a little multitasking here. Oop. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Like, did I miss any um, Pikmin like stragglers? No, it doesn't look like it. Oops. See, all these all these walls that you can knock down in this area are pretty much only shortcut walls for the most part, except for that wall that I just knocked down with um, bomb rocks. So it's really, really pointless to knock down the wall since the other Pikmin will eventually make it back to the base anyway, no matter what. Uh, how are you guys doing? Oh, you almost killed them. I'll help. I'll help. <laughs> yeah! Alright, you guys stay there. And I need the bomb rock guys. Just to speed this up a little. And start... That enemy's twitching on the wall! <laughs> Just take this down really quick. Beautiful. No, don't go on that. Don't go on that. I'll leave my bomb rock guys there because they won't they won't be of much use to me at this point unless I get rid of their bomb rocks. Anyway, I'm gonna take my team this way. And how many blues do I have? 35. I think that's good. Okay, let's take the team. Push it against the wall to get past this. These all these flame geysers. Push them against the wall, just let them, let them follow you like this, nice, steady line. I'm pressing up on the C-stick, by the way, to achieve this, and you will safely get past them. Alright, well now, what I'm going to do here first is go and get this part out of the water. Just out of the water, not, not carry it back to the base, I just want it out of the water. I'm going to get my blues, I have plenty of blues for this, I plan for it. 
This is the analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. All right, so, oh, back to the base. I might go back and get those reds while I put the other ones on that bridge. Guard satellite, this has protected me from space pirates many, many times. So, he's went through the Metroid lands? Oh, never mind. I have now recovered 17 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 12 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Alright, now get this out of the water, please. I would very much appreciate that. Now, as I said, just out of the water. You don't want to take it back to the base just yet, because I have, I have to get these Pikmin working on other stuff here. Okay? So, now, just leave that there. The reason why is because I need to put reds on that anyway, and I'm going to trade colors in the middle of this. You'll see what I mean uh, in just a second, because I'm going to introduce a candy pop bud. And everyone on the bridge, please. There we go. Now, while they're working on that, I'm going to go back to the base and get the rest of my reds. Okay, candy pop buds. They are these colored flowers. There's reds, blues, and yellows. What you do is you throw 10 Pikmin into it, and once you throw 10 of them into it, they will spew seeds out, and it will be Pikmin seeds of that color. So that's the advantage of Candy Pop Buds. They don't change the team that you have, like the amount of Pikmin that you have. But what they do is they allow you to switch up your forces to solve puzzles a lot faster. There's actually a point in the game where you have to use Candy Pop Buds to solve a puzzle. But what I'm going to do here is, if this plan works... I'm going to use the Candy Pop Buds to change my team to mostly reds and then take the ship parts back through the fire streams on the way back here because obviously other colors cannot come back through here because of these fire jets, you know, while they're carrying something. And oh, they're almost done with the bridge. Very nice. And once they're finished, I can begin the next phase of the puzzle. Why am I not putting these on here to speed it up? I don't know. I'm just derping here. <laughs> okay, this is where you need all three colors, and we are done. Good timing. Here, get some blues. Have them attack this geyser. Get it freed up. Grab a bunch of yellows. Throw them up on this ledge. Yeah, this part's really annoying to get. Okay, use the geyser to get up here. And there is the part that I need to get. This is the Libra, I think? I can't tell, I can't see how many Pikmin need to be on that thing. Please tell me that's enough, okay. This is the Libra, I was correct. My daughter gave this to me. It is named after her astrological sign, my sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. Alright, now watch us. They're gonna fall off the part, but don't worry about it, they're just gonna go back onto it, but once they do that, it's kind of interesting, and what are you guys doing? <laughs> Get on the part, please. There we go. Oh, it's gonna carry it uh, a little bit off long, I mean oblong, but that's okay. Well, now that it's down here, wait, you guys actually can take this back a little bit further. Now that they're down here, the part can be taken back with the reds, but as you can see, I don't have enough reds for both of those ship parts, so what do I do about that? Hmm, well, I'll go over here, and, yeah, all the way back through here. Oh, 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 okay, no, no, don't go on there just yet. Well, I guess you can if you want to, but it's not going to be productive. <laughs> I'm going to change, I guess, a bunch of blues and yellows into reds here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time here, but this is, no, don't attack the flint, oh, whatever. Throw ten of them in here. It was nine, ten. Are they gonna spit out seeds? I just want to transform their colors. And there we go. One more set. How many more? Is that it? Okay. Let's start plucking. I was just counting them so I don't like throw too many in into the candy pop bud because that's kind of annoying when you end up losing a Pikmin and you don't know it from that. Come on, keep plucking. Keep plucking, Alamar. Keep plucking. Pluck like you've never plucked before. I still feel I'm not going to be able to make all sh all four ship parts in this part. 
That would be really interesting if I could, though. Uh, are we done here? Okay, we're done here. Now, separate colors. Reds. Get on to that analog computer. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, man, I'm not going to have enough time for this, am I? But you see what I'm trying to do here, don't you? Because... No, 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 don't go in the water! Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough time for this now. Um, what I'm aiming to do here is separate the colors. But they're giving me some issues, because I, I need the reds to take those two parts through the fire. And that's why I traded off the colors. So, let's grab that. And go back over here for the Libra. Ow. <laughs> Damage to my space chute is approaching its limits. The safest course of action would be to return to the dolphin at once and repair my suit. To, to do so, I only need to stand in front of the dolphin and press A. Uh, if only repairing my ship were as simple as pressing a single button. <laughs> my mistake there. And uh oh, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have enough Pikmin for that, do I? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to <laughs> gather them up and come back here the next day for the remaining parts. Uh, where is my whole team? Just want to make sure I don't miss. Oh, there's those yellows with the bomb rocks way, way, way over there. Um, maybe I'm going to have to end up leaving them behind. I probably shouldn't have left them down by the corner, but right now I'm just focusing on not losing too many Pikmin here. Um, them all. Oh boy! I'm not sure if I got them all there. <laughs> I did my best, though. How many got left behind? My planning was pretty good, except for the leaving some behind part. So yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here one more day to get some parts, I guess. Ah! <laughs> I was so close to getting all four, but there's... Well, maybe I wasn't that close to getting them. No! Was that only two left behind then, or is that just a cutscene? Eight days since impact. I have seen that at times, the leaf atop a of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud, and then a flower. He's first mentioning this now? It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating! This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I have found the increased swiftness of the flower Pikmin to be of tremendous benefit. Indeed they are! <laughs> Also, my diligent observation has recorded in instance, instances in which flower pikmin lost in battle have left seeds behind. This is why on days after fierce battles, I occasionally find new sprouts growing. Yeah, I forgot to mention that flower pikmin can leave seeds whenever, wherever they die, and you can pick new pikmin from those spots. And, oh, I only lost, I mean, I left behind five. That's not too bad, actually. Me. <laughs> I'll save, I accept that. Next part, I'm getting both ship parts. I'm just gonna grab a ton of red, go down there, get the ship parts, and then breed up a ton of Pikmin. Anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.